Yo, it's Friday morning. A little tired. It's like 6 a.m. Heading up to Zilker Park for a park workout with the Entreperform squad. They've been throwing these in-person park workouts every Friday morning, showing out to support. Yo, just finished up the workout, and it was a super cool experience for me to see these guys leading a group. You know, there were 10, 15 guys there, and you know, really getting to see Jay and Max from Entreperform like step into their own as leaders and and take charge and command of the group, and seeing other people look to them to lead them is fucking awesome. I mean, dude, I've watched these guys grow so much over the last two years, you know, and develop as leaders, develop as entrepreneurs, and it was a truly special experience to be able to see them leading out there today um, on top of that it was a hard-ass workout finished it up with a swim in Barton Springs where the water's super cold um, I'm feeling fucking awesome all right I'm getting some breakfast made officially the start of boys weekend Hannah's heading to Vegas today Cruz is wearing my shoes Cruz you excited to hang this weekend he's preoccupied Gotta fuel up. So I used to really run a routine where I didn't eat until 11 a.m. noon. Um, and there were benefits to that. Like mental clarity was pretty good, but then I would, like there was a fine, like a, a really small time frame where I would have to fill up or else my ment like I would start to deteriorate in the afternoon. And so, I mean, dude, I ran that for years. And then, Recently, I started eating a big breakfast, eating no lunch, and then eating a big dinner, and my energy's been fucking phenomenal throughout the day. Like, fueling up in the morning with, like, I'm serious, like a huge breakfast, and then, you know, I'm not eating dinner until six, seven, but it's like two massive meals in a, in a day has been serving me super well lately from an energy and clarity perspective. What are you working on, buddy? <laughs> it's doing some, uh administrative tasks, some uh, little bullshit work. A little bit, bitch work. <laughs> a little bitch work, bitch. yeah, basically, yeah. Uh -huh. Just putting all the uh, brotherhood calls, execution calls, production calls in a Google Doc. Beautiful. Yeah, doing the Lord's work. No, oh. get out, get out, get, get out, Alan. Hey, come on. <laughs> Cribs. Walk with me. Walk with me. Walk with me. <laughs> oh. For those of you that don't know, we have a Ascension program called Roundtable. Show the people. And uh, I built my part out actually around last summer and there's some of the most insanely transformative tools in there for our guys. Um, a lot of it based on NLP, hypnosis, a lot of the work of like Dr. Joe Dispenza, customized for like our guys in their language um, and was meditating on Saturday actually and uh, sometimes when I meditate I kind of that's when I'm channeling some really good ideas and actually uh, channeled some really cool or received some downloads on two modules in particular that are about to get a really big upgrade um, so I'm about to go back and record those I record in the fucking gym closet dude what the fuck are these Just found whatever the fuck these things are on Evan's desk. About to go figure out what's good with these mini bananas. What's up with these freak bananas? Explain yourself. Yeah, so basically what it is, it's like, it's, uh, I mean, it's this dude that runs- And especially if you wanna like push for growth month over month over month, it's like, it's very clear that the data tells us when Roman shows his face and creates content, lots of money comes in. Right, and so it's like, do that, sure. you know? I mean, and, and like, now that you have the team in place, they, they will continue to optimize systems and development while you manage and oversee. But it's like, that's the thing, when a company, company gets to a certain point, like what I'm doing and like what you're doing now and where our time needs to be is like, dude, in management, very rarely in technician work, mostly in content and being the fucking face of the brand obvious example of passive income right well that one piece of data and you know maybe you're gonna have people say five or six things 
right? There may be five or six different reasons that people make the decision to do this. Leave their job, have passive income, whatever it is, right? But passive income turns into multiple angles, right? You mentioned one, which is like digital real estate, right? Another one is like, like beating the market. Right, it's like, look, you can invest 50K with me and by the end of the year, you will have done, you know, let's say they brought in 100K, right? It's like you could have doubled your money where in the market, it'll take you seven years to do so. You know, and so it's like, and this is where like, you need to get real think tank-ish with people who understand marketing and, and not even understand marketing, but just understand the benefits of your service. Right, it's like, okay, so there's two angles, right? Then, you know, what's another passive income angle that we can come up with, right? We're like, we're thinking, we're brainstorming. Beating the market's a good one. Digital real estate is a good one. Um, you know, like you could pick a finite amount of like, what would an extra 10K a month do for you? You know, and so it's like, then it's like, what would 10K per month do for you? What's this? That's like, oh, I can fix that and I just. Bro, you're loving these shorts. You want to tell us what's going on here? Oh, sure. Yeah, bro, it's Monday. It's a great start to a great week. You were here like six hours late. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's not six hours late, it's right on time. Yeah, man. Look good. I feel good. You look sleepy. I don't look sleepy. And you have these disgusting shorts on. The reason Wake Up Wealthy is fucking awesome is because of brotherhood, right? Like, tribe is something that men fucking, it, like, truly desire at a genetic level. It's fucking primal. Like, men, since the beginning of, the of time, have traveled in packs done everything together, hunted together, eaten together. Like it is fucking men fuck with each other, dude. Like that is a fucking fact. Truly smart thinking is knowing what you don't know. Does that make sense? It's like truly smart thinking is knowing what you don't know so that you can put yourself on a path there, right? What's going on? Into the first day of boys weekend. Cruzy is tuckered out. I'm pretty tired too, honestly. Like I came home from work and then we played for a while, needed to get out of the house, we were bored. Went up to the trail at Zilker, invited Brandon, walked about three miles, talking some sales, Cruz was playing, came home, made dinner, played it up and here we are. Bum. cerebral it's like I had a conversation with Brandon today on the walk really thinking about why we've persisted so long with wake up wealthy because honestly wake up wealthy is kind of a bitch business to run like the thing's frustrating as fuck the messaging's weird and you know it seems relatively intangible even though everybody's gonna be banging more cash when they come in it's like a strange offer you know and, and we were talking about why I've really pushed through some of the super hard times at this company and it's the work we do here is too important I've seen too many men's lives change and it's really hard to walk away from that but like I'm not incredibly money driven it appears you know obviously I want to make good cash and, and, and continue to push for scale but it's like if I was super money driven I think right now, like, I would l walk away from what I'm doing, and I would just fucking build a software. Like, you want to have a big exit, it's, it's SaaS companies, dude, you know? And it's like, I could grab my COO, maybe a couple other team members, our developers, and bang out some easy SaaS company, and the SaaS sales model's easy, too. It's like, I'll go do this sometime, but it's like, if I was 
dead focused on the money right now, I'd be doing that. And I've pushed through some really hard times at Wake Up Wealthy where I had to take myself off payroll. You know, it's been constant work. It's been tons of things to make this thing a reality. And it's just super hard to walk away from this container. It's so powerful. It's created change for so, I mean, fucking 400 dudes. You know, I get texts all the fucking time, a few times a week at least, that are like, dude, I have no idea where my life would be without Wake Up Wealthy and like, thank you. And that shit's tight, dude. It's like, I feel super grateful and lucky to, even though I could be making, you know, having probably a fucking 30, 40, 50 million dollar exit in the next few years, it's like, I don't think it beats that. It doesn't beat that feeling. like. It's not that many people get to find work and get to live an experience of life that they're like truly, truly grateful for and like fulfilled by the work. And, you know, I have that here. Julian has that here. Everybody who works at Wake Up Wealthy has that here. And it's what makes this company so fucking powerful.